All right, let's compose f and g of x. So I'm going to take f of x, and I'm going to plug g of x into it, which means this is going in there. So I'm going to rewrite this equation like this, 4, and then where I see the x, I'm going to put a parenthesis, because x isn't going in there. g of x is going in there. g of x is x plus 4 over 3. All right, now this is a little complicated because I'm going to have to be careful with my algebra. I'm going to distribute this 4 in to the top here. So that's 4x plus 16 all over 3 minus 3. Let's get common denominators. 3 is the same as 9 thirds. So that equals 4x minus, I'm sorry, plus 16 minus 9 seven. is 7. So 4x plus 7 over 3. You could rewrite that as 4 thirds x plus 7 thirds. 4x plus 7 over 3. Now let's do g of f of x. g of f of x equals, again, I'm going, to re, I'm going to rewrite g of x, but anywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a big parenthesis because I'm going to plug, instead of x, I'm going to plug f of x in where I saw the x. And f of x is 4x minus 3. So 4x minus 3 goes in there. Now this is easier to simplify. It's just 4x. Those parentheses are really unnecessary now. 4x plus 1 all over 3, which could also be written as 4 thirds x plus 1 third. Either way would be fine.